The cobblestone streets of Colorado Springs laid out beneath an ink-smeared twilight canvas, hummed with the faint echo of Eli Sutherland's past. The crisp air stirred memories within him, whispers of forgotten childhood laughter and the ominous murmurs of nascent paranoia that had once sent him running. He had been a fledgling then, thrown into the harsh wind before he had learned to fly. Now he returned a determined man, the burn of relentless pursuit etched deep in his sapphire eyes. Eli strolled past the familiar storefronts, each appearing as ghosts of his past. His gaze then landed on the imposing building of the local police station. An odd unease crept into him, fed by recent rumors of an unearthed ancient settlement below the very foundations of the station. His journalist instincts tingled, drawn to the mystery like a moth to a flame. He pushed through the heavy police station doors, the scent of stale coffee and decades-old paperwork teasing his nostrils. His eyes scanned the room until they landed on Sheriff Matthews, an old chess opponent and an unintended mentor from his youth. Evening, Eli, the sheriff greeted, a half-smile crinkling the corners of his eyes. His voice echoed a silent question. Why are you back? I've come for a story, Sheriff, Eli answered, his voice steady. He noticed a flicker in the sheriff's gaze, a slight narrowing of the eyes. Eli wondered if the man had already been touched by the shadow of the newly discovered settlement. He inquired about the investigation, leaning into the intrigue that emanated from beneath them. The sheriff shared only sparse details, a peculiar reluctance hanging heavy around his words. A few peculiar artifacts, etched walls, and an uncomfortable silence that seemed to feed off the warmth of living souls. Eli scribbled notes feverishly, his hand barely keeping pace with his racing thoughts. The police station faded away into the background as he left, but the seed of a story had already rooted within him. He returned home, the image of his estranged sister Alice lingering at the forefront of his mind. He had another relationship to men, another silence to break. The evening brought Alice, her features softened with time but still unmistakably hers. Her greeting was guarded, her demeanor distant. Eli acknowledged her reservation, persisting in his gentle attempts to rebuild their bond. Got yourself a story, Eli? She asked, a hint of sarcasm curling around her words. His previous reputation as a conspiracy theorist was still a wound between them. More than a story, Alice, Eli responded earnestly. A chance to give something back to this town. He saw a flicker of doubt in her eyes, but chose to let his actions prove his sincerity. As the night descended, Eli found himself drawn into his thoughts, his mind stirring with the mystery of the underground settlement and the enigma of the town's indifferent residents. Colorado Springs whispered to him, promising revelations of cosmic proportions. Eli felt the silent echoes grow louder, paving the way to the depths of the unknown. As dawn peeled back the shroud of darkness, Eli woke to a town muffled by an ancient silence. This quaint town was undergoing a transformation, its underbelly touched by the whisperings of a forgotten past. Eli made his way to the excavation site, the epicenter of the unearthed enigma. He descended into the depths, the stale air tasting of antiquity. Shadowy symbols danced on the excavated walls, their contours alien and disturbingly beautiful. They seemed to hum with an old rhythm that called to the primordial echoes within him. In the dimly lit chasm, he stood alone, his solitude emphasized by the cryptic etchings. He traced the symbols with his fingers, their chilling touch seeping into his skin, a language lost in the annals of time, yet resonating with a dreadful familiarity. Emerging from the subterranean maze, he sought the locals, his persistent spirit yearning to unlock their silence. He wandered through the town, his conversations weaving through the odd reluctance that seeped from the townsfolk. Strange things, them symbols, muttered old Joe, the town's librarian, his cloudy eyes reflecting a suppressed fear. Eli noted the trembling of his hands, the unsteady rhythm of his words, the undercurrent of dread that clung to the conversation. In the cafe, he encountered the Baker twins, as identical in their evasiveness as in their looks. Their eyes flickered with a shared secret, their smiles a bit too fixed, their responses too practiced. Just old rocks and tails, nothing more, they chirped, their words a rehearsed refrain. 
Alice, too, seemed to carry this new air of reserve. Their conversations had grown more strained, their connection fraying at the edges. Her laconic responses bore the undertone of the town's disturbing apathy. An icy revelation crawled over him. The townsfolk appeared as marionettes, their strings pulled by an unseen hand. Their indifference belied a collective transformation, their reticence a mask for an insidious force at play. As he delved deeper into his investigation, the fragments of a chilling narrative began to form. The eerie symbols, the alien architecture, and the altered townsfolk all whispered a tale of a forgotten order. A cosmic whisper echoing from a long slumbering past. Night found him in his study, the moonlight casting long creeping shadows on his notes. He pondered the bizarre symbols, the townsfolk's behavior, the odd reluctance surrounding the whole affair. A cloud of paranoia began to form, echoing the phantoms of his past. The ordinary town he had once known was transforming into an unfathomable enigma, its veil of normalcy ripped apart to reveal a stirring underbelly. The once familiar town now held a grotesque transformation in its heart. Eli found himself standing on the edge of a precipice, the yawning chasm of mystery swirling below, threatening to engulf his sanity. His waking hours were consumed by cryptic symbols and whispered legends, his nights haunted by the specter of an unseen cosmic entity. He sought to piece together the fragmented narrative, his journalistic persistence pushing against the ominous tide of the unknown. He returned to the townsfolk, his ears straining to catch the murmur beneath their rehearsed dialogues. At the local inn, he found Martha, the town's historian. Her hushed tales of a long-lost cult, their worship of a celestial deity, their promised salvation, sent a chill down his spine. He listened, his pen poised over his notebook, his heart pounding with the pulse of the unfolding mystery. His trail then led him to Alice, their ties strained by the enigmatic influence pervading the town. He observed her from a distance, her usual lively demeanor replaced by an unsettling tranquility. He longed to reach out, to break through the seemingly impenetrable barrier that had grown between them. Yet an invisible force seemed to hold him back. His sister's transformation was a silent confirmation of his worst suspicions. His conversations with her echoed the same bizarre dissonance that tainted the town. He confronted her, his words dripping with concern. Alice, don't you see what's happening? Her dismissive laughter was his only reply, a chilling resonance of denial. His paranoia, once dormant, now clawed at his sanity. As he delved deeper into the mystery, he found himself surrounded by a distorted reality. The veneer of normalcy was now tainted with an ominous hue, each local a puppet dancing on the strings of an unseen puppeteer. The dread of isolation began to creep in, his lone voice drowned in the chorus of denial. He found himself trapped in a chilling paradox, a spectator of the disturbing spectacle, yet a player in its unfolding drama. His nights became a battleground, his dreams invaded by cosmic horrors and shadowy cultists. The line between reality and nightmare began to blur, the whispers of the forgotten now roaring in his ears. His own sanity seemed to waver, the shadow of the unknown threatening to swallow him whole. His descent into the abyss had begun in earnest, the trail of whispers leading him deeper into the heart of cosmic dread. In the heart of the town, beneath the veneer of everyday life, a cosmic play was unfolding, and Eli found himself walking onto its grand stage. An unsettling stillness hung over the town as he began his descent, a palpable prelude to the crescendo of cosmic horror. He infiltrated the clandestine meeting of the Dark Order, held deep within the catacombs of the unearthed settlement. The sight that greeted him was a portrait of abject terror. Men and women swayed in rhythm, their chant a symphony of forgotten languages, their eyes empty voids reflecting an alien cosmos. They danced around an obsidian monolith, their shadowy forms seeming to fracture and distort around its edges. The symbols from the walls came alive in this sinister spectacle, the once unfamiliar contours now dreadfully clear in their sinister intent. Eli watched from the shadows, his heart hammering against his ribs, his sanity teetering on the brink of collapse. 
His senses were overwhelmed by the surreal display, the spectacle seemingly woven from the fabric of his darkest nightmares. His journalistic curiosity warred with primal terror. He wrestled with the desire to flee and the need to understand. To flee meant survival, to understand meant a deep dive into an abyss that threatened to swallow him whole. Being a persistent journalist, he chose to understand. In the dead of the night, he found himself penning the horrific narrative, his hand trembling, his mind reeling from the terrifying revelations. His paranoia had not been unfounded. The town, his home, was under the control of a dark force that had wormed its way into the minds of its denizens. Every encounter with the townsfolk was now laced with a chilling undertone. Every mundane act was a symptom of their indoctrination. Every familiar face was a grotesque mask hiding an unfathomable abyss. He found himself trapped in a cosmic play, the narrative spiraling into a vortex of dread and despair. He was the lone voice crying out against the tide, his warnings falling on deaf ears, his pleas swallowed by the shadowy abyss. Even Alice, his beloved sister, had succumbed to the otherworldly influence, her face a cold reflection of the cosmic horror that was slowly consuming the town. The boundaries of reality began to warp around him. The world he knew was melting away, replaced by a nightmarish landscape painted with cosmic horror. He was the lone beacon of sanity in a town consumed by an ancient cosmic dread. The dawn broke over Colorado Springs, the morning light casting long, grotesque shadows that danced with an otherworldly glee. As the sun rose, Eli descended further into the abyss. His sanity stretched thin, his reality fracturing under the weight of the unspeakable horror. He had become a stranger in his own town, his pleas dismissed as the ramblings of a madman. The cloak of cosmic horror had descended over the town, its familiar faces twisted into eerie masks of alien influence. His beloved sister Alice was lost to him, her personality submerged beneath the tide of the unseen entity's control. His journalistic instinct urged him to expose the truth, to unveil the cosmic puppeteer orchestrating the town's dreadful transformation. Yet every attempt seemed to drive him further into the abyss. His words drowned in the choir of alien hymns, his actions lost in the cosmic waltz of the Dark Order. Consumed by desperation and the chill of isolation, he decided to confront the horror head-on. He marched into the heart of the ancient settlement, his footsteps echoing the rhythm of his impending doom. He found himself before the obsidian monolith, its alien symbols glowing with a dreadful light. A confrontation unfolded, Eli standing against the alien entity, a mere mortal against a cosmic deity. He challenged the entity, his voice resonating with a defiance that echoed in the hollow depths of the abyss. The entity replied with a laughter that rippled through the fabric of reality, its voice a chorus of cosmic winds, its words a torrent of alien concepts. It reveled in Eli's defiance, his human persistence a novelty in its ancient existence. The cosmic entity peeled back the veil of reality, revealing to Eli the unfathomable depths of the cosmos. He witnessed the celestial dance of cosmic entities, the birth and death of stars, the swirling galaxies, the multiverse in all its terrifying grandeur. His sanity, already teetering on the brink, was shattered by the cosmic revelation. His last thought before his consciousness slipped into the abyss was of Alice, his beloved sister, trapped in the cosmic dance. As the last vestiges of his sanity slipped away, the sun set on Colorado Springs. The tale of Eli Sutherland, the persistent journalist who dared to challenge cosmic forces, faded into the annals of the town's history. His defiance became a cautionary tale whispered in hushed tones, a silent echo of humanity's encounter with cosmic horror. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed our content, show your support with a like and subscribe and stay notified by hitting the bell icon. Expect more cosmic horror from Eldritch Tales Factory and feel free to explore our other stories. See you in the next video.